Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Azure SQL Database. So the requirement that I have for this project is to run a query every night. And I was actually, before I came across this uh, tutorial, I was thinking about doing an Azure function. So an Azure function that used the connection string of my Azure SQL database and runs on a schedule every night. But again, this is something that a developer have to do. There have to be some coding involved. And then I, I actually come across this article and it is something so easy that I decided to make a quick video. So let's get to action. So pretty much we're gonna use logic app instead of Azure function. If you are familiar with logic apps, there is this concept of no code where pretty much you are just stacking connectors one on top of each other and doing some functionality. So let's look at how easy it is to create a logic app and make it to run a query in or Azure SQL database every night. So pretty much we come here and we create our new logic app. And if you see our subscription, our resource group, our construction plan, etc., 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 we already have that created. So pretty much, let's open the one that we have. And in here, we are going to go to workflows. In workflow, we can create a new workflow and we can pretty much, let's name it demo. When it creates our workflow and we open it, we're going to have a designer. If you see, we can actually use code if we want to, but there is no need to. We create, we open the designer and the first thing that it will ask is to add a trigger. So in this case, we're going to look for the triggers that we have available. And this is the one that we're going to choose. We're going to choose an interval. We're going to choose every 24 hours. And right here, we can add parameter like time zone and start time for example let's just add time zone so it will be arizona and then with that one we can then go to the next step now we're going to add an action what is going to happen in that schedule so we're going to search for the connector of sql server and if you see right here we're going to execute a query and the only thing that we need to pass here is a query let's say that we need to delete a table every night so delete from table this is a any table and then we're going to if we need to pass a parameter we can do a lot of things here so where do we get to the to the connection so right here we're gonna say okay new connection we're gonna name the connection whatever we want we're gonna pass the connection string and voila that's all we have to do we're going to go we're gonna save that uh, workflow and if you see here it's already running. So it's running every day, every 12 hours. It runs at 6 a.m. at 6 p.m. UTC time. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys find this useful. I think that is great for someone who, who has zero code experience. See you guys in the next video and stuff up.